welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. My name is Vicky. If you are new here, welcome. A little bit about myself. So I am a mum of one little boy who is five and I am overdue with my second baby boy. So I'm trying to use my time wisely and I thought I would do a house tour for you. So I have been asked to do this many times. I have been reluctant to do it because Nothing is finished in this house. Um, there are probably two rooms that are kind of finished and that is it. So we are waiting to hear back on our planning permission actually today um, and then we should be able to start that. So I was kind of waiting for that to happen. Unfortunately, that hadn't happened as quickly as we thought. Um, so we just thought, why not show you what we've done so far um, what and what our plans are for the rest of the house. Um, I will be apologising the whole way through this vlog because there are things that are just not finished um, and, I, and I don't like buying things for rooms if um, it's not the room that's going to be the final result, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through with you. So I started in the hub of the house. This is the kitchen. This is one room that we have renovated. Um, so we renovated this room about a year ago and I'll just show you round. So we are in the hub of the house, my favourite room, the kitchen. So as I said, we opened all of this out. Um, over here, I'll just show you. So where this pillar is here, here, where this pillar is, there was a wall along there leading to the back door. And then over here in this corner, there was a downstairs toilet and then a back door here and we took it all out and also the ceiling was flat and we put these Veluxes in. So yeah, this is my favourite room of the house. Um, still not finished because this area here, I really don't like. This is kind of a dumping ground area so we've got the tumble dryer and washing machine dog's bed. So basically this wall, this whole wall is coming out and we're going to go into the day room there which will then lead on to the utility. So these won't be in here, the dog bed won't be in here and it'll be nice and open into the day room. So that's our plan for that so keep watching to see those updates. But our kitchen is from Howden's. So I used to work for Howden's and when I worked for them I always said that I was going to have this kitchen. Thankfully I got it when I did because they've now discontinued it unfortunately. Um, so I can't even remember the name, the range name of it, but they don't do it now anyway, so it's irrelevant. But the colour was cashmere and I, do, I know they do still do some ranges in the cashmere. Um, the worktops that we've gone for are a Carrara, Carrera marble, so we got that from a local um, supplier. I will say, if I was to do it again, I wouldn't choose real marble. Real marble stains really easily. So on this side, we have got, um, I don't know if you want to know all our appliances, but this is my favourite appliance because this is my Brita One Touch. Make my cup of tea with that in the morning. It's filtered water. It means you haven't got to boil a whole kettle. It just releases one cup of water. This is really random, but I thought I'd show you our bin because I love it. This is a Brabantia bin. And... I basically had to find something in that shape to fit underneath here and, and I found this. So we got this from um, Brabantia Direct and we love it, it's really different and it goes with the kitchen really well. Um, so over on here I've just got my Nespresso coffee machine which I equally love although I'm off coffee at the moment but I will go back to having that. And then there is our kettle there which we probably don't really use much anymore probably wondering where the toaster is. I keep the toaster in the cupboard down here because I don't like having it on the side. Um, this tap is an absolute steal. So we bought this tap when we moved in three years ago because the kitchen we had, the tap was knackered. And that came from Aldi and that was 45 pounds. And when we redid the kitchen, we were like, we ordered a tap from Howden's and it was like 250 quid. And we were like, no way, we're not going to spend that when that was £45. I know it's not very traditional looking, uh, but I like the kind of mix of modern and traditional. And what a bargain. So if they have the special buys on again and they have the tap on offer, definitely, definitely pick one up because we love it. Moving on to this area, um, we have got this island. Had to 
design it around this pillar because this pillar we needed for it, the structure of the house. We couldn't get rid of that. Um, so this island is huge. Um, I'll just walk around it. So we've got an induction hob there. And then we've got some drawers in the side. So I didn't want any wasted space. It's a pretty deep island and you could lose a lot of space in there if you didn't put drawers on the side. And we keep our plates and bowls and things in there. Moving on to my lovely breakfast bars. Love these. I think they're from a company called myfurniture.com. Again, if they still sell them, I will link it in the description box below. I absolutely love those. And we use this breakfast bar like every single day. Final area of the kitchen is the fridge freezer area. As you can see in this house, no wall is straight. So we had a fabulous carpenter that scribed all that in for us. Um, and then this side, this is a chimney breast. So um, we had these doors built because they were already there, but like they were horrible doors. Um, and that's just got the boiler in it. That's got the electric meter in it. And then lovely prints on the wall from Decenio, which I love. So this is our lovely dining room. This room was a playroom before, and then we opened it all up and we opened it up into the kitchen there. So there was a solid wall across there. And um, this was just a little playroom with like a dark wooden floor. Absolutely love our table and chairs. This is the Amelie range from Dunelm. Love them. Another chandelier from John Lewis. I then love this little corner. So these frames came from Ikea. I still haven't filled them all. As you can see, this is what I'm like. I don't tend to finish things. So I've got two more to fill. Um, this chair came from a company called Boffy Blue. Love it. Bought that when we renovated the kitchen. We renovated the kitchen about a year, just over a year ago, I would say and um, we bought those then and then also my lovely plant from Lidl which I am absolutely amazed I've kept alive but yeah lovely little like palm tree plant plant here we've just got the infamous Ikea kitchen for the children we've got a lovely wood burner and also a really nice toy box over here which has got their toys in um, and then just a basket with some wood in it that we use for the wood burner. So all of the stuff on our table came from Ikea, the placemats, the candle holders, and also the plants. And as I've said already, the chandelier is from John Lewis. So this is our hallway. Um, as you can see, we've got the traditional Victorian tiles on the floor, which I absolutely love. It's one of the first things I noticed when we walked into the house and one of the things that sold the house to me. So up until a few days ago, this here was all open and an absolute mess. Now it's not finished. We still need to have it painted. So we've started to paint it. So we've done a couple of undercoats, but it does need a top coat. It needs some handles. So I absolutely love that. I cannot recommend the people that did it for us. It was SS Carpentry and they're based in Wiltshire. So this room is gonna be our snug. At the moment, it's our main family living room, but as you can see at the angle of the camera, it's very small. Um, so we renovated this room. We put um, parquet flooring down. So this is solid oak parquet flooring that we put down. Our house is really, really old. Um, I don't think I've mentioned that yet. So our house, house was built in 18 something i should know that if i get the deeds out it will tell me but it's a really really old house so it lends to things like the real wood um, and that's why we decided to go for that so i'll just show you that so we've got it all over the floor this puff is from made.com um, and then i've just got a little tray on here which came from house of brissy in bath um, this i'm actually going to change soon i'll just give you a closer look so in this tray We've just got this, which came from TK Maxx, the vase, and then these came from Ikea. I think I'm gonna change this soon. I'm not too sure on it anymore. My style seems to have changed a little bit. Um, I've then just got a nice candle, um, some coasters. We actually use this to put our drinks on in the evening. So we use this as like a sort of a coffee table, um, and then we just put our drinks in the tray um, so that we can reach them. Um, the rug that it's on is just a really cheap £45 Ikea one. So I really wanted um, to get a more expensive rug, one with like bobbles on it. I love them. 
but we couldn't because we ordered two. We ordered one from Ikea, that had to send that back, and then I ordered another one from Dunelm, I had to send that back because the colour just clashed with the sofa. Um, now the sofa that we've got, this sofa that we got is from made.com and I absolutely love the way it looks but unfortunately we never sat on it before we ordered it and I really don't find it comfortable. Um, I've got to be honest, it's got a really hard back. Um, the cushions are quite firm. Um, and it, I absolutely love the way it looks and it was perfect for this room but it just doesn't feel that comfortable so we are changing this um, when we do the extension and we do this is the snug we're gonna go for a really luxurious really deep that's the other thing it's not very deep from front to back and um, so it is a beautiful sofa don't get me wrong but it depends what you want to use it for so we're probably gonna put this in the day room when we create the day room because it will be a kind of everyday sofa that you're just kind of sitting on to have a cup of coffee with your friends. Whereas in here, we want it to be really cozy, really snug, somewhere where you just want to like lie down and like not want to get up. So yes, yeah, so that's that. So the cushions we've got um, came from, I think they all came from TK Maxx. Um, actually, these might have come from, no, these came from Matalan. And then these two TK Maxx or, or HomeSense. I always say TK Maxx because it's the same brand, but yeah, HomeSense. Um, and then the rug on the end of the sofa. So I just drape this um, sheepskin rug over the end of the sofa. This is from Ikea. This is one of their like more expensive ones. And I just love the way it looks draped over the end of the sofa. Let me talk to you about our cupboards. So, so the whole thing is made out of MDF. Even this false chimney breast is MDF. And I really wanted the TV sunk in because the room is so small. I just felt like putting a big TV on one of these or I don't know I just feel like it would have taken up too much room these are actually solid wood doors but then the rest of the frame is MDF and then we added things like beading along here just to give it more detail the fireplace came from screw fix and we just um, cut it down a little bit because I wanted this gap to be big enough to put like a candle or something like that, which is exactly what I've got. I've got a diffuser and a candle down there. And on the shelves, we have got this lovely Ikea lamp. Um, I saw this ages before I bought it and I just knew I was gonna have it. Um, this jug comes from Dunelm. This was given to us. Um, and then these just came from Amazon. I just ordered this from Amazon. I ordered like a big bunch and I've got it scattered between a few vases. Um, these baskets here came from Ikea again. Um, the various different frames, I can't remember where they're from, but they're just from different places. And then I've got um, this little plant, which I think came from Next. And then right at the top, I've got a little Chanel book which I ordered online and then this this little vase which I think came from Asda. Moving on to this side, my favourite new addition to the shelves is this little basket from Ikea and this has got our nappies and wipes in for when the baby's here. So I popped that on the side. Um, I got this artichoke from Dunelm. This is from TK Maxx. Those two vases came from Amazon and so did this. And then this is the, um, I said over there, I cut some stems off um, to put between vases. And I've also got this upstairs as well. Um, and then I've just got like some random books there and then a Vogue book up there, which I think I was given. And then of course a Jo Malone candle. Um, the shelves are something that I'm not very good at styling, I don't think. Um, so I definitely need some inspiration for those. Uh, they're not where I want them to be yet, so I definitely want to add to those. And lastly, I always get questions about this table and chairs. I will find a link similar, but I can't remember where we got them from because we've had them for about two years. Um, the children do use these if they ever want to eat in here, which I don't mind as long as they're sat up at this table. Um, if they're watching a movie or something, um, it's easily wipeable. And then we've got these trunks from Leaks. And then on the windowsill, I've just got this jug from Dunham, which I love, but I don't know what to put in it. I absolutely love that. Um, this vase, I can't remember where it's from. And then, as I say, I ordered all of this 
from Amazon. Um, so yeah, that's that one. And then finally, we've got the um, Ikea frames. I've only got one photo in the middle at the moment because I'm gonna put some baby pictures in the other ones, like family baby photos. And then the PS, the resistance, is my beautiful chandelier. So the idea behind these chandeliers is from the front of the house, I wanted them to be visible because um, the house is very symmetrical. Um, these came from John Lewis. I say these because there's one in the dining room as well. I absolutely love them. They look fantastic. We actually bought a cheaper version when we first moved in. And honestly, you can tell the difference. It's so worth spending the extra money on this. So we love that. Welcome to our bedroom. So this is not going to be our bedroom when the extension's done. Um, this is going to be Oscar's room. So what we've done in this room is we have fitted new blinds all around. So you may have seen already that um, we have got the slatted Venetian blinds. So here they are. And then they are closed over there. So the idea with the blinds was to get shutters, um, but they were very expensive. Um, so we got them from blinds to go and we actually really love them. So we've put new blinds up, we've put new carpet down and we've also had the walls painted. Um, so the grey in this room is the same grey as the grey downstairs. It's a farrow, uh, the grey in the living room. It's a farrow and ball colour. Again, I will link it in the description box below. Um, so yeah, we did this room and we did Isla's room at the same time with the carpet and the painting just because the paint was flaking off the walls the carpet was stained and it was getting me down and because we were waiting for the planning permission to come through we just thought we'd freshen it up but this is our room at the moment um which is absolutely fine um but we will change uh, some of the things when we move into the extension so our bed is from made.com our lovely bedding is from soap and sleep if you follow me on instagram you'd see me post about this recently our bedside tables are from Ikea, something again that we'll change, but they are so pleasing to the eye. They're just really easy and cheap and we've had them for years. Um, and then the lamps, they are a Dunelm base and the shades are from Leeks in Melksham. Something I love about this room are the fireplaces. So these are false fronted fireplaces, but there is actually a fireplace behind that. As you can see, it's a chimney breast. So years ago, obviously that would have been a proper open fire in the bedroom, which I just love. I love the history. And obviously that stands for Vicky and Simon. These drawers are from, I think, Melody Mason or Mason's Dumond. So yeah, I think, I'll, again, I'll link them in the description box below, um, but they are beautiful. This is the type of furniture I want to have everything around the house um, in. At the moment, we have a lot of Ikea furniture dotted all over the place just because it's cheap and quick and easy. But eventually I will change every item of um, furniture, or most items of furniture over for these lovely solid wood pieces i just think they're really lovely they're a bit of a splurge but they're just timeless elegant and they just last forever so we've had these drawers for three years since we moved in and they are immaculate fan goes on every single night i'm sure you don't need to know where that's from and then this rug came from home sense or tk max and then as i said over here bedside tables you can see i've got my slippers down there um the little little pot with the plant in it um, came from Amazon and I told you about the, yeah, about those. So that is our bedroom. These mirrored wardrobes were already in when we moved in and I am going to change the doors for solid wooden doors when the kids move in here because it will just be covered in fingerprints. And also I don't really like the full mirror. Uh, it's hard to keep clean and I just think it looks a bit dated. But yeah, so we'll put solid in there. Final thing in this room, which I love, I'll just turn that, this off so you can see it properly, is this beautiful chandelier type light from Dunelm. It wasn't expensive. I think it was about 50 pounds, but again, I'll link that below for you. Um, but I absolutely love that. I think it sets off the room and I'll probably move that into our room when we move over because I really, really like that. But yeah, that is our bedroom very basic and simple 
clean and fresh. I have some nice ideas for when we redo our bedroom in the extension. The Isla's room is an absolute dumping ground at the moment, purely because of the cupboards we're having built downstairs. Um, all the coats are on her bed for that and also the shoe racks that we've dismantled from what was under the stairs and there's like bags to go up in the loft so I wanted to get this filmed today maybe I cut this bit out and I'm able to film her room tomorrow uh, but we shall see if I don't then obviously I will show you once this sorted but that will be Isla's room anyway when we do the extension so we're in oscar's room i really 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 didn't want to show you the back two bedrooms i really don't like them these are the ones that are going to change dramatically so this is going to be our master suite and it's going to go out that way about two three meters i think um as you can see the ceiling slopes down so that's being raised um, this is Oscar's room. We have done nothing to it since we moved in. The only thing we've done is put a blind in. Um, so I'll just show you that. So we put this blinds to go blind in. But as you can see, the walls are all in a pretty bad state. Um, holes in the walls. The ceiling's cracked. Um, it leaks. So I really didn't want to show you these rooms. But this is just Oscar's room. Um, he's got a an Argos bed. Some Ikea furniture and his name on the wall and a little shelf up here. There's nothing really spectacular about this room. It's just a space that Oscar uses. Um, we've got an Ikea cube um, storage for his clothes. So we've got a couple of drawers in the top for his underwear and then clothes in there. Um, as I say, he's just got this little Argos bed um, and then a shelf up on the wall with his books and bits and bobs on it. And then the world's biggest, teddy bear storage bane of my life but this came from Aldi and it's absolutely fantastic it's massive and he loves his teddies so this will be something that will be going in his room when he has a new room but as I say this room is going to completely change this is going to be our bedroom but I just thought I would show you the rooms that we use day to day anyway going into baby's room again this is not a glamorous nice room we've got stains on the walls and the ceiling patchy um We've done nothing to this room apart from buy new furniture for it. I bought everything from Ikea because I just wanted a space for the baby. So this cot is from Ikea and it was £40. Um, the rail on the wall was from Ikea. That was already in here because it was Isla's. Um, and the drawers, you will recognise, they are also from Ikea. And a lot of people ask me about the handles. So I bought these handles from a company called The Handle Studio, I think. Um, I will link their page in the description box below, but I just think it makes it look lovely. So yeah, this room will actually end up being the baby's room. Well, I think half of it's going to be the new bathroom, and then this half is going to be the baby's room. So it will be much nicer. We won't have these sloped ceilings again, but as I say, this is just a little space for baby um, for when he comes, which we hope is a very, very... Okay, so I'm going to have to film the bathroom like this because... This is one of the biggest reasons we are getting an extension. This bathroom is tiny. So this bath is not even a full size bath. Can you see how small it is? How I'm gonna bath three children in there, I do not know. So obviously it's nicely decorated. Um, the people that lived here before did it really nicely. They've got this Ikea sink unit in, which is really useful. It's got two drawers. Um, underneath which is great for a small space and the blind was already in when we moved all this panelling was in here when we moved in which I do love and we will continue that theme throughout the hallway when that is done but as you can see it's extremely small in here and we have one toilet in the whole house so yeah if I attempted to put the camera in the corner my head you wouldn't even see my head so very small, obviously ceiling sloped again in here. So when you are having a shower, me being tall, it, you do feel quite cramped. So we are gonna change all of this, but I'm not gonna go into detail of where everything's from. Uh, but yeah, that is our tiny little bathroom. Uh, as you can see, can you see the amount of floor space it's got? Really, really small. So yeah, really looking forward to changing that. So this is our hallway, nothing spectacular about it at the moment. 
Um, this will all drastically change. Uh, I think here is going to be the new bathroom and then all of this out here is going to be two new bedrooms. So it's all going to change. So my plans for the hallway are a carpet runner going up the stairs. Um, I already know the one that I want and um, it's slightly different. We're going to repaint this banister. Um, we're going to do it in two different colours. Um, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. And also we are going to just put pop some panelling on the walls, the same as the stuff in the bathroom. Ever since we moved into this place, we said that's what we would do. As this is our beautiful garden. Um, we have currently replaced all the fencing in the garden. Um, so this is a lot of overgrown bushes. Um, and then we have also done this area, which isn't finished yet. Um, we've got a new roof going on soon. Um, but we had the amazing FEC designs do our decking and also these sleepers which are fantastic and sort the wood out on the back um, but we have got this hot tub which I haven't used for nine months can't wait to start using it again um, and then over here we've got this lovely chill area and then this all lights up at night and there are some solar lights kind of wrapped into that um, so again I will link anything below but just ask if I don't so this is due to change quite a lot as well as you can imagine when we have the extension we're going to patio quite a large area of this garden and then hopefully have an outbuilding here um, as we're looking at putting like a home gym and office out here so i will keep you posted on so that is it that is my first stab at a house tour i hope i did it all right i hope i showed you everything if i missed anything let me know um, and when we get our planning permission, I will do an updated house tour when it work starts and just let you know sort of how how that's going really. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this house tour. If you did enjoy it, there was many, many more house updates where this came from. We have lots to do in this house and it will probably take us over the course of the next 12 months to finish. Um, so please do give me a big thumbs up and a subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.